Hey everybody, it's Juanita McDowell with In Motion Real Estate Institute. We're getting ready for Monday's class. The 12th we're teaching LinkedIn at In Motion Smyrna. And I want to give you a quick little tutorial. In fact, I call this four common mistakes that people make when using LinkedIn. So let's talk about those. I've already clicked on the profile and it's taken me to this page. The very first mistake is the profile picture. Quite often people do not upload a picture, want to definitely name that picture, your name, and it could be Sue Smith Realtor or Bob Brown, real, real estate agent, but whatever it is, make sure it has a name. People can't see it, but the search engines can. Number two is the headline. You want to make sure you have a compelling headline, something that really pops out and people know exactly what you do. And in fact, the headline is what appears under your name on your profile page. That's mine. You want to make sure it's loaded with keywords. To edit, you want to click edit. And you want to come down to the box under headline. And this is the box, which kind of deceivingly looks like it's only a small area there. But it's a lot of room for you to put your keywords in there. The benefit to the headline is that when people are actually looking for you, or maybe what you do, you can see, let's just say I am a technology trainer for realtors. And so when someone clicks that, they should be able to see me somewhere on the page. And that's the key. In fact, keywords or lack of keywords on your profile is a big mistake that people make when using LinkedIn, simply that they don't use it. There are five key places you must have keywords if you're trying to rank at the top, not only in Google, for your keywords, but also in LinkedIn. Now, number three is your public profile link. So often people do not edit this. You want a nice clean LinkedIn profile link. To edit it, click edit there. Come down, look at the right side, and see where it says your public profile URL. Come down where it says customize your public profile URL. And that's where you can put anything you want from your name to keywords. I actually like you to put your name there. Okay, and then there's one more mistake that I want to bring up, and that is people do not put the right information down for websites and quite often they leave this to what LinkedIn defaults to I think is company website. You don't want that. In fact what I always tell people to do is click edit and when you do that for websites make sure you choose other. When you choose other you can see that you get two additional boxes instead of one and here you can actually put what the website's function, what it does. So in my case the first thing I have is my YouTube channel which provides marketing and tech tips. Then I have my company website, but that's providing continuing education courses. And lastly is my smart spending tips, which is my blog. So those are some key items that you really want to take into consideration when you're creating your LinkedIn profile. In addition, when you, we get to class, what we're going to do is show you how to create a video for your profile. That's something that's really important and a lot of people don't know how to do, but you want to create that video full of testimonials, or maybe even something about your listing. We'll, see, we'll show you examples of some great real estate agents who've done a great job with their LinkedIn profile. So we hope to see you in class, and thanks for watching.